you absolutely can have a smooth recovery from hip replacement. Just be sure to avoid these mistakes at all costs. Hi, Dr. James Vager here. I'm a specially trained doctor of physical therapy who focuses on helping people solve their joint pain issues. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about what you should not be doing if you've had a hip replacement and show you one movement you can safely do after surgery to help your hip. But that's not all you're gonna to get today. I also have a helpful resource for all of your pain needs. Stick around until the end of the video to get access to my pain quiz, which is designed to identify your individual joint pain issues and give you a personalized plan to recovery. When you get a hip replacement, you're getting a painful hip joint removed and you can expect recovery to last anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. You wanna make sure to follow the hip precautions given to you by your surgeon and remember those precautions will vary depending on the type of approach your surgeon used to perform your surgery. You wanna be careful not to injure the joint again while it is healing and you wanna make sure it heals and you wanna reestablish normal movement and activity as quickly as possible. That's a lot. The best thing you can do is find a balance between pushing yourself to keep moving and strengthening and allowing enough time and opportunity for healing. The clients that have been referred to me with a hip replacement who don't do well usually fall into one of two categories. Those that overdo because they feel so much better after the surgery and those that rest too much because they don't wanna hurt their surgery that was just done or they are overly concerned with dislocating their hip. One of the best things you can do is to normalize your walking pattern and practice walking with proper leg movement during the swing of your leg. Getting the normal movement of walking is vital to a quick and complete recovery. When you swing your leg, make sure you don't take too big of a step and keep your body still. Don't hike your pelvis or rotate your pelvis. Now, I also wanna show you a movement you can safely do during recovery to reestablish normal movement. But first, you need to know that this movement is intended for a broad audience and you may require more specific attention. Also understand that if I was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to provide treatment and guidance on all the facets of your pain. There is much more that goes into solving your problems that encompasses your whole body and I encourage you to check out my other videos for a more comprehensive approach to solving your pain problems. Okay, so this exercise that I'm about to show you is a very common exercise that's given to you right in the hospital after your hip replacement surgery. Um, the reason I wanna go over this exercise is because most of the time when people come in, they're showing me how to do it and it's completely wrong. They're missing the whole point of the movement and they're missing out on the benefits that this exercise truly gives you. So this exercise is uh, done lying down and so let's Lie down on the table. Okay, so here we are lying down. And the trick of this exercise is making sure you're isolating all the movement directly in your hip. It's not about how far you go. It's not about how big of a movement you make. It's simply about how much you can isolate the movement in the hip joint. So for a cue and for help, I'm gonna have you take your hands and put them on your pelvis, so right on the top of your pelvis. And you can even push down towards your feet slightly, so you'll be able to feel better if your pelvis is moving. And the movement is very simple. You wanna keep your kneecap pointing to the ceiling, and you keep your toes pointing to the ceiling as well. And you're gonna slide your straight leg out to the side and away from the other leg without letting your hip hike into the air. just like this. A couple other things to remember. You wanna feel like you're reaching your leg away from you so your leg is as long as possible as it slides out to the side. This is gonna help not only isolate the muscles but it's gonna help your brain learn how to recontrol your leg again. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is you don't want your leg to roll out to the side unnecessarily. Try to keep that kneecap pointed straight to the ceiling and you don't wanna let your knee bend. Again, we're keeping the leg long and straight, isolating the movement right inside the hip joint. And again, don't worry if you can't move very far. You just had surgery. I don't expect you to move very far. 
but I do expect you to be able to begin to train your brain how to isolate movement in your hip again. Think about doing this exercise for a few minutes at a time, two to three minutes, just to start to train your body and your brain to isolate the movement in the hip. And you can do it two to three times a day. Thanks for watching. Be sure you listen to your body and stop immediately if you have pain. As promised, I have that helpful quiz for you. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description. If you learned anything helpful, please share this video with a friend and click the thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you can get more tips and tricks for pain relief and corrective exercises. Be sure to leave me a comment letting me know how this worked for you or other pain relief tips you'd like to see. Until next time, take care of yourself.